So, seeing that Davido has decided to sue Sophia Momodu, the mother of his first child, to secure full custody of their daughter, Imade Adeleke. I'm not going to go into the nitty-gritty of the story because she has replied the lawsuit and definitely they will be meeting in court. Davido filed a motion through his lawyer at the Lagos High Court on April 17, 2024. Well, he claimed that he had financed a living, education, covering all school fees, nanny fees, health care, insurance, and international travel cost. Well, what Sophia said in response is not tallying with what Davido is saying. And she also said she has her own receipt. Let us listen to this actor speak and we will be getting deep into the crux of the matter because she is saying that Davido is only interested in sustaining or maintaining his children as long as these baby mamas that he has there over everywhere release their bodies to him. If not, hell will break loose like this one. Let us listen. But before proceed, like and share, tap on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. <laughs> Guys, I just saw what my Sophia Sophia, my Sophia Sophia said. If you are a single mother in Nigeria and you are not supporting my Sophia Sophia, God is seeing you. This woman has been through a lot and I've been saying it. Some people were, were criticizing me. They said I should shut up. But I knew what I was saying. Now this woman don't talk. Two years. Two years. I'm calling out David o. Please. Please. You need to go and apologize to my Sophia Sophia. You need to go and apologize to her. Two years. If you are not supporting my Sophia Sophia, and you are a single mom in Nigeria, and you are a single mom in Nigeria, God is seeing you. God is seeing you. And David, oh, please, you need to go. You need to beg my Sophia Sophia, beg her forgiveness and go to church for prayer. Go to church for prayer. So, Davido drags Sophia Momodu to court, demands custody of daughter, Imade. <laughs> you heard what the actor said, but you are in for a shocker. Let us just stay patient, because Sophia responded. I'm going to quickly summarize what Davido claimed. That sometimes last year he received a call from his daughter's school that Imadi had been absent for two weeks and he inquired and Sophia, mother of Imadi, his first baby mama, said that the Range Rover SUV was not in good condition to transport daughter to school. That he had sent an Islander SUV and also a sum of 5.8 million as requested. Davido claimed that he had made commitments to pay for living expenses, fees of the nanny, to their child, provide medical and health care, insurance, periodic international travel expenses, and tickets. He added, not that notwithstanding my efforts in the overall interest of my daughter, the respondent has continued to make unladish and utopian demands to frustrate me, listing the other demands allegedly made by Sophia Momodu to be one. Let's start. That I should pay the nanny she hired the sum of $800 per month and that the total sum of $19,600 per annum be paid as a lump sum. I do understand that cost of living is also and your region, your location that you are in. If Sophia chooses to live in the UK, 
or choose to live in the U.S. Davido will have to pay according to the cost of living of that state. And also, in some states, they might demand to know how much you earn. For example, someone gave an example saying Chris Brown pays 3000 something per month. That is not the amount that other people pay. You see, they said, oh, that's too, that's too few compared to how much he gets monthly. I'm not going to go into that because Chris Brown does not get money every month like that. Like this money is just coming in millions every month. Even Davido, apart from owning businesses. So let's proceed. Davido claimed that despite his contribution towards ensuring a better life for his daughter, the respondent has continued to show me unwarranted cruelty, inflicting so much pain on me. Now, you are going to find out about the pain. Even though Davido claimed that there is this property that is, that is worth 200 million that he wants Sophia and daughter to stay in, there is a problem attached to that. Because if you're not in a relationship with a man and you're not willing to be in a relationship with that man, and the man is providing you a property. You know that one day, maybe somehow we get high. When he is high, he's coming to that property that he bought and has asked you to be there. Meaning that that guy will hone you. Hmm. Let us proceed to what... <laughs> now, this is a response of Sophia Momodu to address the allegation amid custody dispute. Um, she talked about relationship and financial support history that David Adeleke and herself, Sophia, were in a relationship from 2014 to 2017. They had a break. During that break, Davido was also busy breaking some other places. <laughs> so 2020, 2020 to 2022, they had this nice, you know, get together again they were there benching themselves now during this time davido provided financial support for their daughter covering school fees rent and other living expenses including cars and all of that they ended their relationship july 2022 that's where el broke loose all through that period davido was still in a relationship slash uh marriage plan slash everything with chioma they ended up marrying last year, somehow, somehow. So, ever since then, she claimed that Davido had shown lack of emotional support. She wrote lack of contact. That David has not seen their daughter since July 2022 by his own choice. Sophia has never denied him the opportunity to see his daughter. He has not reached out on special occasions such as her birthday or Christmas for the past two years, which has left his daughter distressed and questioning why her father has caught contact with her. Despite this, David posts images of her on social media to falsely portray himself as a supportive and active father. And I think this is what a lot of people see. A lot of people see these pictures and they believe, oh, Davido is a great father. Now, I'm not saying Davido can be measured in the same scale like some other fathers out there that have not done anything but you need to understand that you balance these things up according if provision is the only thing now he probably would make calls here and there to find out about his children's uh, um, where being in school performance and all of that and also to pay for their tuition and what he can do he also juggle it with his chasing of women with his career and many other things it's not an easy thing you see he decided to put all of this on his plate. You have to pay for it. That is the sacrifice there. So, financial neglect, number four, is very important. Since July 2022, David has not fulfilled his financial responsibilities towards her daughter, their daughter, leaving her school fees unpaid. Their daughter's school has contacted him multiple times regarding the fees for the 2021 and 2022 school term and January january 2023 now this will be on record so it's not like it's a made-up thing let's continue with no response legal counsel was sought in february 2023 resulting in david's father mr adedeji adeleke eventually paying the outstanding fees regardless of this neglect sophia strongly maintains that the most important support 
David can provide to their daughter is his presence and emotional support. Hmm. Now, Sophia said, ever since July 2022, she has been the one footing the bill. I'm going to go to one other thing. So, two years ago, Sophia initiated efforts through a legal team to establish a formal co-parenting arrangement with David, but he and his lawyers have consistently refused to cooperate towards a mutually agreeable resolution. Instead, they have attempted to discredit and isolate Sophia and their daughter using David's social influence and network. Hmm. Sophia has never denied David access to their daughter. Only access to our own body and intimacy. Meaning, David wanted to keep benching Sophia whilst gallivanting with other women and also putting ring in the finger of Chioma. Now, those that are lover of, Sof of Sophia are saying theirs, and those that are rooting for Chioma or Davido, they are saying their own. But let us be realistic here. Davido would never have married Chioma if not because that child passed away. And it is a custom where Chioma is from to hold on to children when you are not done paying what you are supposed to pay. Meaning you are not done doing the bright price and fulfilling the culture and tradition. So it means that if I that passed away may so rest in peace, his body will not be handed over. They will not accept by culture and tradition. Not because the law cannot supersede that, but by culture and tradition, they might say, ah, no. And maybe Davido's father had advised him, saying, look, man, don't get into this. Davido is already to settle with anybody. Marrying a woman now is like a burden to Davido. He needs to go to US, UK, um, go all through the world, go around the world, his tour, and do what he wants to do with any woman. He doesn't want one lady saying, you cheated on me. If you want to hang out with me, you want to be around me, it's okay. When I need you, I want you, you know, that kind of thing. So, this is what Sophia is saying. Did social media got wind of their relationship? No. In fact, when they met in the United Arab Emirates, people said, oh, he only went there to support or to, to support her in what she was going to do and... People don't understand this thing. This is a guy that likes women. So, meeting your baby mama. Come on, we are human beings. You all know that that ex is easier for you and your ex to get together at times than for a total stranger. So, what are you talking about? So, people didn't know that when they stopped being whatever they, they are, back then, people didn't know that when they stopped their thing, 2017, that 2020... They resumed the game. 2021, they are together. 2022, halfway, July, they stopped. Did you know? People didn't know that they were doing these things. People just said, oh, Sophia, whenever you are with your child and David, that's when you want to post picture because they were rooting for, oh, let it be Chioma. It is not who you get married to. It's who your heart is with. That's what matters. David's heart is with a lot of women, regardless of his marriage. People are only hoping that he meets up to his responsibility. And moreover, Chioma has developed a thick skin. That's the truth of it. If not, all the journey so far, she will not be hanging around David Adeleke. Moreover, Davido is rich. That is why all of his sins <laughs> will be forgiven by a lot of people, even if he's not asking for forgiveness. So, uh, this is what she's saying, that... It was her body that she had stopped Davido from assessing. Now, let us process the remaining. David is in a publicly known relationship, meaning marriage, and Sophia wishes him well. She seeks to move forward in her life free from harassment and verbal abuse. What are your thoughts about this one? Drop your comments.